All right, in this video, I'm gonna go through and review my contributor earnings over the years on deposit photos. I'm gonna take a look at some of my best selling photos on deposit photos, as well as some tips and tricks on how to use the site. Now, if you're looking for a video about how to sign up for a contributor account on Deposit Photos, I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but I do have another video on that and I'll put a link to it up here. So let's jump into the stats. So far, I've earned about $1,500 from my photos on Deposit Photos. Now, that's a lot less than I've learned on sites like Shutterstock and Adobe Stock. So as a result, I haven't spent as much time uploading photos on this site. I pretty much just uploaded a bunch of photos seven years ago and left them. So in this next chart, I'm going to show you how much I've made each year. And also on the chart, it shows how many photos I uploaded each year with the red line. So the blue bars show the earnings each year, and again, the red line shows the number of uploads in that year. So notice that in 2012, I uploaded about 50 photos, but I only made 30 cents. 2013, I uploaded 141 photos and made under $40. Now, I haven't uploaded a single photo since 2014, but in 2019, I made over $300 from those photos. I uploaded six years earlier. Now, I recently uploaded 100 more photos in 2020 to see if I can raise my earnings. Now, looking at the chart, 2017 stands out. I hadn't uploaded a photo in over two years, but it more than doubled in revenue. Let's dig into what happened here. So looking at my stats on the site, on June 23rd, 2017, I made over $60 with 36 on-demand sales. And on July 1st, 2017, I made over $120 on 72 on-demand sales. Those two days accounted for almost 40% of my yearly revenue. Now that's just crazy. Now on deposit photos, you can see all, the, all your sales. So I can go back to see what sold on those days. And if I take a look at it, all of these sales were for just one photo. So there's no way for me to figure out exactly what happened. So I didn't really notice it until after the fact, but I figure what happened is deposit photos maybe included my photo in one of their email campaigns to all their buyers, or maybe they added one of, added that photo to the homepage and it just resulted in a lot more sales for that particular day. But then after they removed it from the homepage, maybe, you know, it went down to the regular sales. Now let's go in and take a look at my sales by photo. Now one of the cool things about deposit photos is that it does show you all the stats. It shows you how many times your photos were viewed as well as how many sales you get. One thing that's not so cool is you can't actually sort by revenue. So what I had to do was I went and cut and paste out of the website and put it into a Google sheet. And so then I could just sort it. And here I've sorted it by my most popular selling photos. Now, as you can see, the vast majority of sales just come from that one photo. And I uploaded it back in 2012 and I'm still getting almost daily sales with it. Now, the reason that is, is it ranks really high in a lot of the search results. Buyers searching for just Canada in deposit photos are gonna see it on the first page. And if you type in Canada landscape, then it's currently the top search result. Now these search results are gonna change over time. There's a chance that my photo will go down, but it will typically happen fairly slowly. Now I show you this not to brag, but just to give you an idea of the type of sales that you can get from just one photo if it makes its way up in the search results on deposit photos. Now my second highest revenue photo is on the first page if you search for Toronto. Now searching for Toronto is not as popular as searching for Canada or Canada landscape, but it still gets me enough sales to put it in my second best photo for revenue. And the third best photo for revenue is on the first page if somebody goes on deposit photos and searches for Vancouver. Now, if you're watching this video, you've never uploaded any of your photos to stock, and this is motivating you to sign up for deposit photos, I'd probably recommend against that. I make a lot more money with the same photos on Adobe Stock and Shutterstock, and there's other videos on this channel where I talk about that. So if you're looking to get into stock photography, Adobe Stock or Shutterstock are typically a better place to start than deposit photos. However, if you already upload your photos to Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, or maybe some other stock sites, Deposit Photos can be a great additional site to put your photos on to just get a little bit of extra revenue each month. 
However, you have seen some success on the other stock sites, then you know adding another site to your workflow just adds additional time it takes to get every single photo online. And it can get quite time consuming if you want to do a lot of different sites. That's why we created a website called Photoloo. What Photoloo does is you upload your photo once to Photoloo, Photoloo will suggest the keywords and then take that photo and upload it to all of your different stock sites, just saving you a ton of time getting your photos online. Now, if you don't have a Photoloo account yet, we do have a free version and I'll put a link down in the description where you can go sign up for free, try it out and then let me know what you think. If you already have a Photoloo account and you just need to link your deposit photos account, all you need to do is just go into options and then click on link deposit photos, enter in your username and password and you're good to go. You can upload your photos to deposit photos the same time as you do the rest of your stock sites. Now, if you want to sign up for a free Photoloo account, click the link down in the description or I'll also put an icon on the screen. Um, I also have another video about how to sign up for a deposit photos account and I'll put a link on the screen here. Best of luck selling your photos online.